Right then, are we ready? So it says prove that, what is it, a million and three cannot be written as a sum of two square numbers. So the contradiction is that a million and three can be written as the sum of two square numbers. Now, if it said consecutive, so if it was consecutive, I'd have the same letter, like n and n plus 1. But because it's not, my n plus 1 looks a bit dodgy there. I've lost the board rubber. I have the board rubber. How have I lost the board rubber? Oh, it's in my pocket. <laughs> Sorry. So n and n plus 1. There. Right then. So that's how it So if it's consecutive, use the same letter. Because it doesn't say consecutive, don't use the same letter. You must use a different letter. So we're going to assume two integers m and n. Now then. If you look, I've got an odd. So the only way to get an odd is if you've got an odd plus an even. And this is something you're expected to remember. So one million and three. Oops, one point I'm forgot. One million and three is odd. And you know that an odd is an odd plus an even, or an even plus an odd. It's the only way you can get an odd number. Right then, so to make something an odd number, or make something an even number, uh, I need to do double it for an even, and double it and add one for an odd number. But because I'm changing, oh, because I've got to use different letters again now. So my, well, my, my M, let's make M even. So M is two lots of a different letter. Ridiculous, eh? N, let's make that odd. So N is two lots of a different letter plus one. Right, so my million and three is going to be 2K squared plus 2L plus one squared. Right, so that's going to be 4K squared, 4L squared, plus 4L plus 1. Right, now then, so that's worth a million and 3. If I take the 1 off, I've got a million and 2. It's 4K squared, plus 4L squared, plus 4L. So here's my issue. Um... What else can I do? I can divide through by two here, can't I? So I've got 500,000 and one. That's going to be 2k squared, 2l plus 2l. Now here's my problem. This bit here can be done as two lots of k squared plus l squared plus l. So this bit here must be even. But here, look, I've got a 500,000 and one. That's clearly odd. So I've used algebra and I've said that odd is equal to even. And that's not possible. If my I've tried to prove the opposite is fine, but I haven't, I've proved it's not fine. I've got 40 seconds left to write this down. Let me just pause it and write it and then you can see. Right then, 30 seconds to convince you of what I've written there. My contradiction has failed. So if my contradiction has failed, my original statement is correct. So my contradiction didn't work, which means that this part is correct. That's what I've tried to add. Contradiction has failed, so the original proof works. So I've now just written it out now, let's see. Uh, a bit full on, sorry. <laughs>